So I want to talk about how to grade assignments. So we've talked about how to assign them, how to create the Google Classroom, how to get kids in the Google Classroom. So what do we do once they finish their assignment? So you notice here at the top bar, it says stream, classwork, people, and grades. We've already talked about what happens in the stream, but here we're going to go to classwork. So you can click on that second tab. And if you scroll down, you'll see this icon means that was a question. So I can see where students talk back and forth. I can be in that conversation with them, talk back and forth, just to really build that communication piece of this learning management system. If there's a little clipboard that shows that it's an assignment, and you can click on the left side, you see all of your topics. So if you want a specific unit or a specific topic, you just click on that and it'll navigate you down to that section. So I'm going to click, it says that I have this new assignment and I can see zero have turned in, 10 have been assigned, 16 are already graded. So this particular assignment was a group, uh, it was a partner assignment. So instead of each individual kid working on their own assignment, I knew who the partners were. Now, for future reference, if, it, if I were doing this assignment again, and I knew these two children were partnered, I would only assign it to one person per partnership. That way, once everyone has turned it in, I don't have 10 missing assignments left over. Because when we look at the grade book, you're going to see... Okay, this kid was assigned to this, but there's a missing grade, and it's just, it's easier if you just pick who it's being assigned to. But if you want to assign it to all of your students, so you don't have to worry about that, and then just go back and add that grade, make sure you keep up with who is partnered with whom. That way, you know who deserves what grade. So, if it says children have turned in, you'll click on that. It'll give you the list of kids who have turned it in. I'm going to click on graded. So these have already been graded. And I'm going to click on the first one. So for this assignment, they had to upload a screenshot. So I see that she did it. And I see what her grade is right here. So I put in that grade. So let's look at what that looks like for an assignment that has not been graded. So here I have an assignment where I've already graded 24, but I have two that turned it in who have not gotten a grade yet. They've not received their grade. So I'm going to click on it. And I'll see over here that I actually gave a comment and graded it. I just didn't return it to that student. So what this looks like is you go through and you grade the assignment, put the grade here, add any comments here, and post those comments, and then you're going to want to hit return. So you can return just this submission, or you can return multiple submissions. So I'm going to do multiple submissions and choose all the students who have not had this assignment returned back to them and I'm going to return it now that their assignments have been graded.